night, I made a wish on a star. Uh, <laughs> and the star answered. One week later. <laughs> Remember, no employee wants to be a Squidward. Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our channel and our Vindication <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> yep, you, you read the title of the thumbnail, you've seen some online news. They have announced that Disney has lost way more money than they care to admit over Wish. And they just released the news not too long ago. According to Deadline, it's posted by Toon High on X. Disney's Wish had a net loss of $131 million, uh, becoming the fourth biggest box office failure of 2023, and we're guessing that number one, two, and three were also Disney. I think so. And now they claim on the Wiki channel, the budget was between $175 and $200 million. Well, last look, the movie had a box office of a little over $200 million. They keep going and updating the amount, so it looks like they haven't lost. But yeah. now we know the truth. We've been vindicated. We knew this movie didn't make oh any money, gosh. and they want to keep telling us that they did. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. <laughs> it's like, how much in denial can you get? They don't ever want to admit that this movie was a flop, and it was a flop because everyone has been going on for broken record for six going on seven months you changed one of their greatest stories you ever had to be the most bland boring simplified down to being a blank piece of paper that no one wanted to go see it and that is why this film only made slightly over 200 million and the budget was 200 million you would hope that any studio this happens to would learn from their mistakes you know the things they preach in the older movies yeah and would get better but this is not what happens with any studio now not just disney they don't want to be told they screwed up they don't want to be told they're wrong they don't want to be told the formula that they decide to use doesn't work as good as the one or i should say as well as the one that worked prior made by other people and they want to pretend that's not true and if they have to fudge numbers and records and ticket or, sales or and any and and get plants online to promote them to get dummy accounts whatever yeah, it takes or <laughs> to try to say that their way is right they're gonna do right or their favorite tactic that everyone adopts oh it's the audience fault you're stupid they're ignorant they're against people of color they're phobic the raises this that and the other they just don't want to see what we made on screen and they're living in the past and it's always something that is now the go-to defense when a movie flops well clearly it's not us it's the audience the audience is stupid and doesn't understand what we were trying to make oh no we understood what you were trying to make you destroyed your own success and now you're not going to recover no matter what you do you can't recover no nope. the only way to recover would be to remake this movie using the deleted scenes and the, the concepts and the concepts and the songs and put out the movie that would have made money even those who doubt it and say well if you got it it wouldn't have made a difference it would have it would prove to you that more people would be receptive to the original concept than to what they watered it down to yep and then it would recoup way more than what they took to make the first movie plus the second movie, plus merchandising, real merchandising. Yep. But the problem, unfortunately, as we know, Disney's not going to do this. No. Nope. Even if they decide they're going to reboot it, they're still going to ignore us and not listen and make something totally different than the original concept. So, at least, Disney, we found where your $131 million is. Yes. in the deleted scenes and animatics that you refuse to use. Yep. So... Thanks so much for watching and look forward to some more Wish videos we can find coming up later on. I'm Rascal. I'm Mama. Have a tuntastic day. Peace.